A very good day to you and welcome to the program. We are standing out in the open. The grass, the new grass is coming through. Spring is in the air and we are excited to be alive. What about you today? I want to speak to you about muzzling the ox. You know, if you look in the Word of God in Deuteronomy, the, in the Old Testament, chapter 25 and verse 4, the Lord says, you shall not muzzle an ox while it treads out the grain. What does that mean? Well, for the young people in the old days, the way they used to thrash corn is not like they do it now. They didn't have big machines that would thrash the husk out of the corn. What they would do, they would have an ox and he would be tied to a pole and he would walk around in a circle and he'd keep walking and they would put the grain in front of him and by his hooves, he would crush the corn and out would come the pure flour. Now what they say is when he's working, don't prevent him from eating. And I want to say to you today, and I'm not just talking to farmers, I'm talking to everybody. You can never pay enough money for a good working person. Whether he be a farm manager, an office manager, whatever he is, you can never pay enough money for a good worker. You can never pay enough money for a good horse or a good animal or a good tractor or a good motor car. You can pay too much money for a cheap one. And I want to say, especially to young people, you think that you're buying something, it's a bargain because it's so cheap. I can tell you there's something wrong with that vehicle. One of my adopted sons, a few years ago, came home, he was so happy, he just bought a car. I said, why didn't you ask me? Yeah, well, he's got friends and his friends told him it's a bargain. I asked him how much he paid for it. It was a ridiculous price, just a few hundred. That, that car only drove once. I think they put sawdust in the gearbox. And after that, it sat on the side of the road. He lost all his money. You can never, ever pay too much for something that's worth it. Now, when somebody is working, you must look after them. You must pay them and you must feed them if you want to keep them. What do they say? If you want monkeys, then you have to pay peanuts. And that's a silly thing to say, but it's actually true. And uh, if you want good workers and you want good artisans, good tradesmen, good preachers, you must look after them because they've got families to feed. They've got commitments. And that's what the Lord meant. You want that ox to tread out your corn for you, you've got to feed him. Otherwise, he's too weak and he won't do the job. So it's called false economy to try and pay the least that you have to pay and less than you have to pay. You think you're being clever? You're saving a couple of uh, dollars on the one side and I'm telling you on the other side, you're losing hands down because that man is probably stealing you blind because he's got no respect for you and he hasn't got enough money to feed his family. Pay him. You say, I can't. Well, then you don't afford. Then you don't deserve to have him. That's right. You know, if a car guard is looking after your motor car, because that's the only work that he can find, give him a good tip. If you want to take your wife, your girlfriend, your mother to the restaurant, a nice restaurant, and you've got a very, very responsible waitress, and she serves you and she does more than she needs to give her a good tip. Not 10%. 10% is the basic. She deserves it. Now, well, we can't afford to give her a tip, Uncle Angus. Well, then you can't afford to go to that restaurant. Rather go to a takeaway and buy your food and eat it in the motor car. I really mean that. It's a very poor thing when a Christian is stingy. Mean. We need to be generous. And we need to respect people for the work that they're doing. So remember, don't be afraid to pay. Goodbye.